As we mentioned in previous episodes, freshwater mussels are highly imperiled and also kind of difficult to identify. They're so variable that it can be difficult to produce a dichotomous key. But when you do see a dichotomous key, like you see in the freshwater mussels of Ohio, you see that the first couplet is, do they have teeth or do they not have teeth? So in this episode of conservation skills in 10 minutes or less, we're going to look at some example freshwater mussels and decide, do they have teeth or do they not have teeth? You can see here that freshwater mussels come in all different kinds of shapes and sizes. But for this episode, we're interested in their teeth. Here we have three species of freshwater mussels that have very different kinds of teeth. We have the giant floater, Pyganodon grandis, the brook floater, Elasmodonna varicosa, and the dromedary pearly mussel, Dromus dromus. The species we want to focus on first is Dromus dromus because of this group, they have the most dramatic teeth. So here's the outside of the shell of Dromus dromus. But the teeth are on the inside, and that's what we're most interested in. So we need to turn these guys over. And you can see here that they have very prominent pseudocardinal teeth and lateral teeth. This close-up image provides an excellent example of the very chunky pseudocardinal teeth and the very fat lateral teeth of Dromus dromus. The next species that we're interested in is Elasmodonta varicosa, the brook floater. Elasmodonta, if you break it down, A means no, Lasma means lateral, Donta means teeth. It means they have no lateral teeth. So let's take a look at this guy. You can see when you turn it over, they have a very, very small pseudocardinal tooth but no lateral teeth. In this close-up of the brook floater, you can see the very small pseudocardinal tooth and no lateral teeth present. The last species that we're interested in is the giant floater, Pyganodon grandis. Let's check out the teeth in this situation. You can see here that this species has no lateral teeth or pseudocardinal teeth. They are completely absent. So let's put all three species right next to each other for comparison. Here we have Dromus dromus, very significant pseudocardinal teeth, very significant lateral teeth. Here we have the brook floater, Lasmodonta varicosa, a very small pseudocardinal teeth, and no lateral teeth. And then finally, Pyganodon grandis, no pseudocardinal teeth and no lateral teeth. So this is what you want to use when you get to that first couplet in the dichotomous key in the freshwater mussels of Ohio. Do they have teeth or do they not have teeth? If you'd like to learn more about identifying freshwater mussels, I would suggest taking the freshwater mussel identification course at the National Conservation Training Center. Just go to our website, type in freshwater mussel identification, and find out when our next course is coming up. Thanks.